Hello and welcome to the State in History, also known as TDH. This show is all about the uh, the events that occurred to date in years past, both recognized by actual historians, but maybe things that we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. I should know this by now. I've been doing this for every day for months, so why 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 do I crumble when I don't have a script? Anyway, the sources of this information comes from the smart device application uh, Today in History. What happened today in history? Historical calendar. And the website on this day.com. For links to the stories, the music, and anything else we gather, you know, uh, check the underbar in the description below. Anyway, I am A.O. Xander. I'm me. And we are joined by Senor Lox. Locos Lox. Lox something. Um, and today is Thursday, also known as Thursday, June 2nd, 2022. You start us off today, as per usual, Senor Lunk. Can't believe it, they're still calling you that. Mr. Bussy Slayer. 455, the sack of Rome. Vandalius enters Rome and plunges the city for two weeks. Vandals. That's not so many names, it's just a bunch of vandals. <laughs> He thought it was a general or something. <laughs> I mean, it might have been. I don't know. Also, 1098, First Crusade, the first siege of Ant Antiloch ends in, in as Crusaders' forces take the city. The record siege began five days later. Dang. I assume that's uh, when the Muslims uh, came after it afterwards. Yeah, I yeah. think so. <sighs> Antioch is a biblical city too, isn't it? I don't know. Hmm. You have one more here. Also, 1608, London, Virginia gets new charter extending borders from sea to sea. Ah, so that's where we got it from. From sea to shining sea. Jumping on up into 1615, the first Recolette missionaries arrived at Quebec City from Rouen, France. <coughs> Alright. 1676, during the Franco-Dutch War, France ensured the supremacy of its naval fleet for the remainder of the war with its victory in the Battle of Palermo. And then a few years later, in 1692, Bridget Bishop was the first person to be tried for witchcraft in Salem, Massachusetts. She was then found guilty and later hanged. Dang. So, witch trials started 330 years ago on this date. Interesting. Yeah. 17... Yeah, 1763, Pontiac Rebellion at what is now Mackinac City, Michigan... Chippewas captured Fort <laughs> Mikewa Mikinek. Dang. But the garrison the I got a phone call. Oh, okay. Uh, Chippewas uh, captured Fort Michele Mackinac by diverting the garrison's attention with a game of lacrosse, then chasing a ball into the fort. Wow. That's pretty cool. Uh, 1774, during the Intolerable Acts, the Quartering Act was enacted, allowing a governor in colonial America to house British soldiers in uninhabited houses, outhouses, barns, or other buildings of suitable quarters are not provided. How'd you like to be that soldier to be bunked in an outhouse? Talk about a shitty situation. 1780, the anti-Catholic Gordon riots in London left an estimated 300 to 700 people dead. Wow. I thought the uh, the riots in LA after the Lakers won was bad, but whoo! Let's not forget the Nika riots. 1793, during the French Revolution, Francois Henriot, leader of the Parisian National Guard, arrested 22 Girondists, selected by Jean Paul Marat, setting the stage for the Reign of Terror. Ooh, that does not sound good. Jumping on up in 1866, the Fenians defeated Canadian forces at Ridgeway at Fort Erie, but the raids ended soon after. Wow, that's... Uh, what? Uh, okay. 
okay. That's weird. Um, going back to 1805. Oh, hold on. Let me move this 1866. Uh, oops. Copy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's weird. All right. Uh, 1805, during the Napoleonic Wars, a Franco-Spanish fleet recaptured Diamond Rock, which was an uninhabited island at the entrance to the bay, leading to Fort de Franco from the British. And in 1835, P.T. Barnum and his circus started their first tour of the United States. Interesting. 1848, the Slavic Congress in Prague began. Hmm. I already read 1866 earlier. 1896, Giuliano Marconi applied for a patent for his wireless telegraph. Ooh, look at that. Jumping on up into 1909, Alfred Deakin became Prime Minister of Australia for the third time. Cool. I wonder, you know, like, how many, um, uh, Australian Prime Minister terms? I'm back. Sorry for that. That's all right. Uh, let's see here. How many, um, how many terms, actually? I'm not sure. How many terms? Um, the, okay, so let's see here. Uh, Australia has no maximum period for service for a prime minister, unlike countries such as the U.S., where the president can only serve two four years terms. Okay, so you can be a prime minister forever. That's interesting. Yeah, so it's like the Pope. The Pope could be a pup forever. There's no term limits for him either. Well, that's supposed to be a position that you fill until you die. So, you know, that's kind of special. <laughs> yeah, and you need term limits. Yeah, you well... You need limits. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, when you, when you bring God into something, like, how, how can you put the will of the people over the will of God? But then again, the will of the people is the will of God. So... Yeah, they uh, vote the fucker in, so... That is a very intriguing question. I'd like to restart so the going, Sunday Jabberwocky and like bring that up for discussion and everything. That's so if they idea. can vote him in, they can make term limits. They can vote for term limits. Hmm. That is true. Anyway, uh, what year are we on? Uh, we are in 1910. 1910. Charles Rolls, a co-founder of Rolls Royce Limited becomes the first man to make non-stop double-crossing of the English Channel by plane. Ooh. Dang, so that means he went one way and came back. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, English Channel. Wow. Yeah. 1924, U.S. President Calvin Coolidge signs the Indian Citizen Act into law, granting citizenship to all Native Americans born within the territorial limits of the United States. Uh, good. And, like, who's... Bad, because get... there are citizens, you know, were citizens before you cunts showed up. Yeah, I was like, who the fuck are we to, to sit here and think that we have the authority to, to decide whether or not the natives have citizenship? Are we out of our fucking minds? What the hell? Oh, man, that got me mad. I'm mad. Uh, continue, please. Get this, get my mind off of this. Yeah. Must even look at your mind off and go to uh, Michaelis and look at that picture I said. Uh, okay. Uh, Discord. Oh 1941, oh World War Two. Germany para German paratroopers murder Greek civilians in the villages of Konomani and Akialanos. Dang. I saw this picture. Remember, what the hygiene. Little hygiene is important. Why does that picture look so familiar? Like, not that exact one, but that pose. Like, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, moving on into 1953, the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II at Westminster Abbey became the first British coronation and one of the first major international events to be televised. <sighs> yeah, the current queen today? Uh, yeah. Wow. 69 years ago. Nice. 1955, the USSR and Yugoslavia signed the Belgrade Declaration and thus normalized relations between the two countries, discontinued since 1948. So that's, uh, what, seven years afterwards? So, yeah. And then mm -hmm. in 1962, during the FIFA World Cup, police had to intervene multiple times in fights between Chilean and Italian players in one of the most violent games in football history. Dang. 
They don't play in soccer. They do not play in football. They will fight like those soccer hooligans. Yeah, like I, I remember another thing he did was he like grabbed two bottles of beer and like popped the caps off in his eye sockets. Like that was I nuts. Know. That that's a that's a insane man right there. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, fun fact. He was a football player as well. That does not surprise me. He looked the part. He... Yes. He had the body and the everything, you know, like... Anyway, your turn, I believe. 1964, the Palestine Liberation Organization PLO was formed. Oh, nice. nice. 67, Luis Magon is executed in Colorado gas chamber in the last pre phonum execution in the United States. Holy shit, we gassed somebody. And what the fuck? 1967, protests in West Berlin against the arrival of the Shah of Iran are brutally suppressed, during which Tino Olsen's sword is killed by a police Officer, his death results in the founding of the terrorist group movement, 2nd of June. Dang. On the 2nd of June. On the 2nd of June. Ruin, ruin the 2nd of June. Remember, remember the 5th of November. 1979, Pope John Paul II started his first official visit to his native Poland, becoming the first pope to visit a communist country. Whoa. Well, John Paul I did a lot of firsts, didn't he? Or the second. He did a lot of firsts, didn't yes. he? Like, yes. Although I don't know the record of all the other popes, because like, you know, if you're going to count first of everything, literally, then, you know, I can be the first. Okay, what, was the, what was the first pope to roast somebody? Oh, that'd be cool. Like, I wonder what a pope, what a papal insult would be, because like, he's supposed to be composed and everything, so like, you know... You have to really push the Pope for him to badmouth you. They, they, they read the Papa. The Pope <laughs> says your mother is so fat when she sits around the table. She sits around the table. <laughs> they chuckle. Thou smother so heavy, she increases the weight of hell itself. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, 1983, yep. after an emergency landing because of an in-flight fire, 23 passengers aboard Air Canada 797 were killed when a flashover occurred as the plane's doors opened. Because of this incident, numerous new safety regulations were put in place. What is a flashover? Does not sound good. Oh, uh, here's one. Your mama is so fat, the last time she took a bath, there was a bit called the Black Blade. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Uh, a flashover is the near simultaneous ignition of most of the directly exposed combustible material in an enclosed area. That does not sound good. Uh, when, when certain organic materials are heated, they undergo thermal decomposition and release fl flammable gases. So essentially, like, the fire just suddenly was everywhere. Like, instantaneously. Yep. That's horrifying. It's Can you great. imagine? so fast. Like, it's like a scene out of, like, a cartoon or something. Like, you know, when, like, you know, you're sitting in a plane and all of a sudden everything's on fire and you're in a free fall. Like, that's essentially what happened. That's, that's terrifying. Oh, my God. Anyway, moving on up into 1990, the Lower Ohio Valley tornado outbreak spawned 66 confirmed tornadoes in Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio, killing 12. Damn. That's insane. Uh, your turn. Yeah, you did Tornado Valley. Okay, uh... Yeah. 1997, in Denver, Timothy McVeigh is convicted on 15 counts of murder and conspiracy for his role in the 1995 bombing of the Alfred P. Murray Federal Building in Oklahoma City, in which 116... Uh, 168 people died. He is executed four years later. Yeah, we talked about him in deaths already. Yeah. Um, uh, 2003, Europe launched its first voyage to another planet, Mars. The European Space Agency Mars Express probe launched from the 
Batori Space Center in Kazakhstan. Ooh, Kazakhstan. Yeah, going back an article real quick, like uh, how many consecutive life sentences was the was that other guy? Was that the Unabomber yesterday? Like, um, no, that wasn't the Unabomber. It was the person who also conspired in uh, the. Uh, and he got what, uh, like 168 consecutive life sentences or something? Like yes, 168 like consecutive life sentences. Wow. That man has died 168 fucking times before he can be set free. Jeez. That- that guy is going to be in prison until the end of humanity. I'll tell you what. Yo, his fucking ghost is going to be there. Yeah. Serving so time. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. I just, uh, I had to bring that up because that's still like 168 consecutive life sentences. How? Well, I got, that... I got one more. Yeah, you do. 2012, former, I can do the last two. Former Egyptian president. Hansel Marbeck is sentenced to life imprisonment for his role in the killing of demonstrators during the 2011 Egyptian Revolution. Good. Maybe he should get 168 life sentences too. Also, uh, 2014, Telangana officially becomes the 29th state of India formed from 10 districts of Northwest India. Or, or, or Paradise. Nice. Cool. So it sounds like uh, they got another uh, overpopulation um, and they had to redistrict. So, yeah. Yeah. Before we move into births and deaths, uh, any articles grab your attention more than most? Uh, Timothy McVeigh getting co- convicted. Yeah. FIFA World Cup. Uh. Uh, the Native American Citizen Act, which is stupid. Yeah. Rolls Royce. Olymp- well, Charles Royce uh, crossing the English Channel. Double cross non stop. Yeah. Uh, let's not forget uh, Miss Bridget Bishop, who was the first uh, woman to be killed during the Salem witch trials. Or she was yeah. the first person That's- to be tried for witchcraft and then found guilty and was later hanged. So. But let's not forget that that, uh, that heir also spawned uh, one of the most badass human beings who have ever lived. That old guy who they kept putting, like, rocks on him. And then, like, the only thing he said was more weight. And then he eventually died. Like, to, uh, in order to uh, to save his uh, granddaughter or something. I don't know. It was crazy. Crazy time. Well, we're living in crazy times now. Like, just like war, crazy never changes. Anyway, moving on up to bursts. Uh, I'm going to start us off today, if that's cool. Uh, in the okay. year 1305, we have Abu Sa'id Banador Khan, was a ruler of Ilkhanhati. Uh, he later died in 1335. Then in 1644, William Salmon was an English medical writer. You know, you know, it makes me wonder, like, were, were fish named after the last name Salmon? Or is Salmon a last name that evolved out of, you know, the fish? Like... And, and how do last names get made? Like, how do you make new last names? You know, like, how 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 did uh, how did I get? You know, how did my last name come to be? How did yours? You know, middle names. You know, like, naming you know entirely, like, beyond just the first name. Like, it's thoughts thoughts like these that drive me crazy. I, I never ending quest for knowledge. Anyway. Uh, he was an uh, English medical writer, dying in 1713. And then we have uh, Martha Washington was born on this date in 1731. Uh, she was the very first First Lady of the United States of America, George Washington's wife. She later died in 1802. Okay. Uh, 1865... Adelaide Casey Halford, Sierra Leone Creole active advocate and civil for cultural nationalism. Activist for cultural nationalism. Yep. yep. 1819, Catherine Tucker Winham, U.S. journalist and author. And 1927, W. Watts Biggers, U.S. author, screenwriter, and animator. What a last name, Biggers, like... Oh, was he, oh, was he Bigger? Uh, I don't know. Um, but his full name was William Watts Biggers, and he went by Buck. You know, a.k.a. Buck. 
So, interesting. His name is Buck and he come the fuck. Oh god. Yo, dude, that reminds me, like, a stand-up comedian uh, did a bit about that, and he was like, you know, oh, but I was watching it on TV, so they had it censored. So it's just like, my name is Book, and I like to party. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Don't you love TV censors? They always, like, just make things even funnier than they're supposed to be. I don't know. Oh, God, yes. In this one movie, uh, yeah, it does that, uh... Baby boy, instead of saying chocolate bitch, scare a little chocolate bunny. Chocolate what? <laughs> scare a little chocolate bunny. What the fuck? Chocolate bunny. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, anyway, in 1945, uh, we have Richard Long, English painter, sculptor, and photographer. And that's my three. Okay. Uh, uh, Nineteen six forty-six. Peter Sutcliffe, English serial killer. Nineteen fifty-one. Gilbert Baker, U.S. artist, gay rights activist, and designer of the rainbow flag. <laughs> 1955, Nandan Nilakani was an, uh, is an Indian businessman who co-founded Infosys. 1958, Lex Luger. Wow, this guy has a has a more evil name than Lex Luthor. Like yeah. really, Lex Luger. Like he's literally a gunman. Uh, yep. He is a U.S. wrestler and football player. Real name: Lawrence Wendell Polfo. Uh, let me let me look that up here real quick to. Uh, copy and paste that. Lawrence Wendell Puffel. Puffel. Wow. He looks like an angry man. Let's see here. Lawrence Wendell Puffel. A.K.A. Lex Luger. And then 1959 we have Lydia Lunch is a U.S. singer, songwriter, guitarist, and actress. Mm -hmm. I'm about ready for lunch too. Also 1966 Diana Cardu. Hey, Jason Bourne, Canadian U.S. professional bodybuilder. Oh, shit, yes! Yeah, I, I put that in there because like, he's Haitian born and then he's Canadian U.S. Like, this guy's all over the place. Also, 1972, Rain Brady. <laughs> U.S. comedian, game show host. And singer song, oh, yes, singer song. And oh, nineteen seventy-seven, Alan Neil Jones, also known as AJ Styles, U.S. wrestler. Why am I not surprised that you know this? <laughs> like, I, I am and I'm not at the same time. Nineteen seventy eight, Yi So Yun uh, was born on the States. He is a biotechnologist and astronaut who is the first Korean in space. Damn. Nineteen seventy eight, we have Justin Long is a US actor and I, I saw his picture and I he looks very much like yes. the guy who died in the first Jeepers Creepers. He well, he is the guy who died in the first Jeepers Creepers. Okay, that's why he looks like the guy who died in the first Jeepers Creepers. So I will just yeah, I'll just move that, get rid of the question mark. And then, uh, last but not least, 1979, Butterfly Boucher is an Australian singer, songwriter, guitarist, and producer, and her real name is Butterfly Gisley Grace Boucher. Wow, her, her first name really is Butterfly. Okay, that's intriguing. Anyway, moving on to the deaths, why don't you start us off? 657, Pope Eugene the First. Mm. Uh, 1292, Rius F. Mardud, Welsh nobleman and rebellion, a rebel leader. Mm -hmm. And a traitor. Take him away! <laughs> I am the Senate. You're part of the rebel alliance and a traitor. Okay. Take him away! 
Dude, like, uh, the way he was wa waving her finger, like, you know, I, I swear when I was a kid, like, I remember him saying, like, you're part of the Rebel Alliance and a scoundrel. <laughs> like, oh, the way he's waving his finger like a disappointed father. Yeah, he was. Well, he didn't even know yeah, it yet. He was. That is his thought. That is his thought, though. He's <laughs> the way he's waving his finger like a fucking disappointed father. <laughs> like, I am disappointed in you. Daughter, I am disappointed. Join me in the dark side. We have be, we have health care. <laughs> we have health care. <laughs> Sounds a lot like Canada to me. Uh, dark, dark Justin, you know. <laughs> anyway, you have another one here. Uh, nineteen sixty-three. John. Six, sixteen ninety-three. Well, six, John Wildman, English soldier and politician, who is a Postmaster General of the United Kingdom. I wonder wow. if he really was a wild man, though. You know? Like that like that guy from the Hurt Locker. You're a wild man! I haven't seen Hurt Locker. Neither have I. I've just seen clips, as usual with, you know, everything else I'm aware of. Anyway, 1785, Jean-Paul de Guadimalves died on the States. He was a French mathematician and academic. Was born in 1713. 1865, Nur Middlesworth was an American judge and politician, was born in 1783. And then 1947, John Gritton, first Baron Gritton, died on the States. He was an English sailor and politician, having been born in 1873. Damn, let's see. 1952, now Torbo. Bulgaria, not particularly designed, the Central Sophia Market Hall. Taking a look at it. Nin oh, okay. 1970. Bruce McLaren, New Zealand race car driver engineer who founded the McLaren Racing Group. 2005. Melita Norwood, English civil servant and spy. Ba -na -da -na 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 -na. 2007, Huang Zhu was a Chinese engineer and politician who is the first vice premier of the People's Republic of China. Was born, unfortunately, in 1938. And then last but not least, we have Richard Dawson was an English U.S. soldier, actor, television personality, and game show host. He was born in 1932. And that concludes the show. Once again, check the underbar of the description for any links that you may be interested in, which also includes... Shogun TV on Twitch. And everything Omni Coalition. For your dose of past events daily, we stream every day between 10 to 11 in the morning. You know, try to try to really get it in there earlier in the day. We have Pacific time, 10 to 11 Pacific time. So on. Uh, 12 to 1 Central. Yep. For all of you and all of us, I am Ao Xander. I'm uh, me. And uh, we are joined by Locos, and you are you. Until you see us tomorrow, do not forget to look right and left at every intersection. Rate five thumbs and subscribe. Until then, toodles. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs>